welcome to a special episode of What Happened to Music podcast, where I forgot uh, my tripod, so we're just using one camera. You mean we're experimenting with new and exciting ways to film this podcast? Yeah, that's what we're doing. So back to school. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that in. So back to school. So um, we, we've been a little shaky yet again with our release schedule because school has started and we are both primarily teachers. Because when you get a regular paycheck, that's your job. So yeah. Um, you, you, well, you're saying this isn't paying the bills. <laughs> <laughs> our, our dozens of views have not yet. Uh, yeah. Back. Anyway. Monetized. Um, <laughs> so so how how many years have you been at your school now? I know this, for me, this is my third year at the same building now. Fifth, fifth year teaching, fourth year at the same school. Okay. So the same district. Um, for me, it's it's been good so far. I've I've my district we do a um two weeks of PD before the students even start. So I've I've been working. So to explain what PD now. is to anyone who for some um, reason hasn't clicked off this video if you're not a teacher. That's professional development. You go in it, yeah, that currently means professional development, but uh um, it'll change what, whatever the acronyms need to be. So basically we go in and you're you're required so many hours in the state of New Jersey every five years. I think it's a hundred hours every five uh, years. didn't they change it to twenty a year? Uh, who cares no, I can't, one, no one cares no one even asks but uh, <laughs> so basically it's i you are trying to develop yourself as an educator and my charter network they provide 40 hours of it every year before the school year starts mm-hmm. um with you know sometimes it's great stuff sometimes it's pretty humdrum this is what we're doing this year but you know it's it's nice that i don't have to worry about that myself so a- any anything out of the ordinary this year? Um, well, our network's doing a Everyone Can Swim initiative. Unfortunately, it's because we, we did have a student pass away over the summer due to a swimming pool. Oh, I'm and, yeah, yeah, it's, sorry to hear that. It's all right. But um, it, it's good, though, because now like there's this focus on this is a useful skill, which I think in education overall, we need to be teaching more practical st- skills. So like everybody swims. A lot of people our age will say oh i wish i learned about finances in school like that yeah. i think that's a gateway to opening up like what education should be but in so, my opinion but your year's been good yeah um going back for a third year at this point um i teach k through four um so when i started um obviously those kids weren't mine quote unquote yet so after two years we <clears> filtered <throat> some out the kids when i started who were in second grade are the fourth graders now mm-hmm. And I feel much more that what I've been teaching is what these kids know. We can actually develop what we're doing. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, and we were talking about that before, where it's interesting where all of a sudden, you know, you get multiple years with a kid and all of a sudden, or kids, and it's like, oh, they're they're my kids. Like, I have no problem giving scarves out to fourth and fifth graders and be like, all right, let's work on our... Or like starting music class with a song in fourth grade, suddenly they're oh, not staring at you like you're crazy. Yeah, no, they're, uh, they're, yeah, the, sh- the routine's been built. I just love the fact that I can I can look at a class and go, hi, you're new and you're new. And so what's your name and your name? Yeah. And then it's, you immediately have it. So that's I mean, one nice thing about general. One one thing that's that stood out to me, I had a third grade class. I'm going to focus, well, the network's fo- focusing on instrumental instruction this year Mm -hmm. so i'm going over all all the notes that i taught them before you know like whole note half note all that stuff which should be a review which it is for most of kids but i have a couple new kids in the class so you know you go up to each of them individually like oh did you do this at your last school did your last Mm -hmm. music and they all said no so what was nice though was that some of my other third graders would go to help them through this Mm -hmm. and then one of them in particular was like didn't you have a music teacher at your old school? Why don't you know any of this? So I was like, yes. So I, I don't know if I'm a good teacher or not, but at least like my kids have heard of the stuff they're supposed to be doing. It's nice when it becomes the norm of like, oh, you should understand this yeah. because you've got it, a music It's the teacher. expectation. Like, mu- and then these kids are going to grow up and be like, music class, I remember all this work we did in music class. We didn't yeah. just goof around. Um, I, I had some of the, the pre-K and kindergarten students like see me and start doing like Kerwin hand symbols. And I don't know, they're usually not correct. <laughs> right. usually like, eh. Yeah. But uh, that was funny. And then I had a third grader come up to me and I'm like, Mr. Demko, I, for- I forgot, I forgot my, my hand symbols. <laughs> I'm like, it's, I'm like, it's okay. That's pretty much what happens in summer. So yeah, I mean, not to, I mean, overall it's been, it's been a great year for me. Um, any last words or? I think um, 
just another apology for our schedule getting disrupted again. But, um, you know, that's when you're a teacher, there's certain points in the year that are real busy, like start of the school year, then the next real hectic time is concert prep towards the, uh, the oh, winter. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, ebbs and flows. It's the same um, thing that you experience in music school. Yeah, and I mean, I'm sure any job at all that you have, there's times of the year where you're crazy busy and other times you're feeling pretty good. So if you have any good uh, opening year stories, put them in the comments.